हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर भूपेश सिंह आई एम अ कॉर्निया स्पेशलिस्ट एट भारतीय आई फाउंडेशन एंड हॉस्पिटल न्यू दिल्ली सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिजीजेज ऑफ कॉर्निया एंड इट्स ट्रीटमेंट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द कॉर्निया इट इज फर्स्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कॉर्निया सो कॉर्निया इज अ ब्लैक पार्ट ऑफ द आई दैट वी कैन सी इट कैन हैव डिफरेंट कलर्स लाइक ब्राउन समटाइम्स अपीयर्स ब्लैक बट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट साइंटिफिकली इट इज ऑलवेज अ क्लियर लाइक ग्लास and the color which is there inside the eye it the cornea appears of the same color so there are different problems that can happen to cornea like on infections corneal trauma due to some injury or keratoconus or corneal dystrophies and there are different treatment modalities for all these problems so cornea infection is a one of the most common problem that we all encounter and patient with corneal ulcer in which the cornea start becoming white sometimes we need medication for that like eye drops that helps antibiotic eye drops but in advanced cases the when the cornea is totally opaque or totally white the patient requires cornea transplant so cornea transplant is only one thing that we can change inside the eye that the it is a myth that whole eye can be transplanted the fact is that only cornea can be transplanted so cornea for cornea transplantation we need a donor so there are different eye banks that provides cornea to the different hospitals so if any patient whose cornea is white and the rest of the thing inside the eye is normal like nerve and retina then then that patient is a suitable for cornea transplant so cornea transplant surgery is not so difficult it's a, it takes around 1 and 1/2 hour 1 and 1/2 hours to perform this procedure but post of care after cornea transplant is very important you need lot of medications regular follow up with the doctor at least for a first for first year and then every 6 months you should report you should come to the doctor and show how it is going if we talk about the limitation or the main challenges in cornea transplant is the rejection that that is there in few cases of cornea transplant or chances of getting infection so if we talk about the rate of rejection it is usually 5 to 10% after the cornea transplant surgery and if we talk about the infection it is also 5 to 10% after the surgery so regular follow up with the doctor and proper usage of medication you can avoid these problems now coming to the different types of transplants that are there now so the conventional cornea transplant is changing the whole cornea whole black part of the eye that is called penetrating keratoplasty in which we change the entire cornea and replace it with the donor cornea and fix it with the stitches but the latest or the newer transplants are the lamellar cornea transplant that is deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty or dsec surgery so in dlk or dsec that is the deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty surgery so the indications are different so in the in patients who are of keratoconus who are having keratoconus in which the disease part is the front part of the eye not the not the entire cornea is involved then we have to perform dlk so the advantage of dlk or dsec in comparison to comparison to the conventional technique is that the recovery is faster chances of rejection is lesser chances of infection is lesser and success rate is better so if any patient who is having white cornea or due to some injury or any infection that patient should come to the cornea specialist for the surgery so if you want to have any information regarding cornea transplant or any queries regarding the surgery or the estimate or the cost involved or the follow up duration of follow up methods involved you can contact us feel free to contact us at bharti eye hospital